Now try this. They are saying that consider the following C function. The C function they have given int fun input is n int i equal to j. See this kind of question I have taken. Okay. It is running this whole loop is running i equal to 1 to n and j here is running from i j equal to 1 till n and j is equal to j plus i j plus i okay so when i is your 1 so it is going to run this is i only this is i only some printing mistake is there this is i only okay so this j loop is increasing with the step of i with this step not with a step of 1 2 3 it is it is increasing j with the step of i means when this when i value is your 1 then j is going to run till n minus 1 times n minus because this loop j is increasing 1 1 is smaller than yes condition satisfied then increase by plus i so here i is your 1 so it will increase by j will j 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 like this then 5 it will go till n minus 1 till n minus 1 because here it is saying that it should go till smaller than n okay so 1 2 3 like this it will go so this j loop is going to run till n minus 1 times when i is equal to 1 so when i then i will increment to 2 then again j will run 1 then not 2 because plus 2 it is going to happen then 3 not 4 then plus 2 5 then 7 so half of the number it is not going to execute only for half of the times j is going to execute then j will be n minus 1 by 2 are you able to recall? I have taught you this kind of question. There it was n by 2, but here it is having n minus 1, n minus 2 times. Because this loop is smaller than n. j is going to run till i equal to 1 till is smaller than n. So j1, then 2 till n minus 1. Then i is going to become 3, then j will run till n minus 1 by 3 times. Are you getting that? <coughs> Please let me know whether it is clear or not. समझ में आया सबको देखिए ये लूप फॉर लूप कहां से चल रहा है दिस लूप इज रनिंग फ्रॉम i इक्वल टू 1 टू टिल n सो दिस इज गोइंग टू रन इन n टाइम्स बट इट इज गोइंग टू रन इन n minus 1 टाइम्स बट हियर इट इज इंक्रीजिंग विद स्टेप ऑफ i सो सी आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट व्हेनेवर एनी लूप इज हैविंग डिपेंडेंसीज ऑन आउटर लूप देन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट अनरोल इट सो दिस इज द अनरोलिंग हियर व्हेन i इज इक्वल टू 1 j इज गोइंग टू रन टिल n minus 1 टाइम्स बिकॉज़ दिस लूप डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वैल्यू ऑफ i so when i is equal to 2 it is going to run 1 3 then 5 then 7 j is going to increase in a step of 2 7 then 9 so half of for half of the number it is not going to execute it means for half of the number it is going to execute so total number of times it was executing when i was 1 is n minus 1 by times so when j when i will be 2 it will be n minus 1 by 2 times when i is equal to 3 then n minus 1 by 3 times please let me know whether it is clear or not because it is increasing with step 3. So when it is 3, then it is increasing with j plus 3. When i is equal to 4, then j plus 4. Are you getting? Please let me know whether it is clear or not. If you are still having doubt, you can let me know. I can discuss. So now we will solve. So how many times this, this inner loop, that j loop is going to run, that is going to be the time complexity. That is going to be the time complexity because this i then that many times this loop is going to execute this inner loop that is going to be the time complexity. So we have to find the time complexity in the question the time complexity of fun, this function in terms of theta they are asking. Okay. So you have seen that when i was 1 it j runs till n minus 1 times when i is your 2 it is going to run till j n minus 1 by 2 times when i is your 3 it is going to run till n minus 1 by 3 times when i is your it will go till n n see i will go till n till n okay i is smaller than equal to n so when i is your n minus 1 j is going to run till n minus 1 by n minus 1 means only once only once why because when i is your n minus 1 when i is your n minus 1, how it is going to execute? j is equal to 1. First condition, j is equal to 1. Yeah. 1 is smaller than n. Correct. Condition satisfied. Then j will increase j equal to j plus n minus 1. 
So it's going to be 1 plus n minus 1 is going to your n. So n, whether n is smaller than this, no. So only one it is going to execute. Now similarly, I will have the value, I will have the value j, sorry, n by step 1, i is going to increase. So I will go from 1 to n. When i will be n, then j will execute j is equal to 1, 1 is smaller than n. Yes, execute. Then j will increase j equal to j plus i and now i is your n and j is your 1, 1 plus n. Now condition will check. 1 plus n is smaller than n? No. So when, when j is your, when i is your n also, when i is your, when i is your n, then also j is going to execute one times. Then also. So because i is going to execute till i is going to get the value from 1 to n. So when i is going to 1, it is going to execute n minus 1 time. When i is equal to 2, it is going to execute n minus 1 by 2 times. When i is equal to 3, then it is going to execute n minus 1 by 3 times. When i is equal to n minus 1, it is going to execute only once. When i is equal to n, it is going to execute only once. So if you add this, all this, the number of times this j loop is running, that is going to have a time complexity. So time complexity is going to your n minus 1 plus n minus 1 by 2 plus n minus 1 by 3 plus n minus 1 by 4 like this it is going to do plus 1 and plus 1 is going to your 2 times ok so it is going to your it is going to your you can write like this you can write like this n minus 1 by n n minus 1 plus 1 now you can take n minus 1 as a common so it is going to have 1, 1 plus 2, then 1 plus 3, then 1 plus 4, then 1 plus 5, till 1 plus n minus 1, and this one as it is. Now it is a harmonic series. I have told you whenever it will go 1, 1, just like 1 plus 1, 1 by 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4. If it is go to 1 by n, if instead of that, if it will be 1 by n, then it will be log n, then it will be log n. But since it is going, this harmonic equation is going till n minus 1, then it will be n minus 1. Okay. So it will go n minus 1. Here it will be, since it is a harmonic series, it will be log n minus 1. Yeah, correct Rathor, correct Hima, uh, Himansu, and plus 1. Plus 1. So it is going to your, so you are going to get here n into log n minus 1 minus log n minus 1 I think so the time complexity is going to this theta of n log n in this you can assume as the n only because in the option they have in asymptotic wise it is going to be n only so c is the correct one 